Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. Today we're taking a look at another Black Series 6 inch figure celebrating 40 years of the Empire Strikes Back and this time around we're taking a look at Princess Leia Organa in her Hoth costume. This is another fantastic figure. Um, the Princess Leia in Boosh Disguise is perhaps my all time favourite 6 inch Princess Leia figure but this is a very close second. Um, it comes with some terrific accessories, a fantastic sculpt, the likeness once again is just absolutely phenomenal and it is a great addition to the collection. The Hoth costume Leia wears is another personal favourite of mine from the saga and this figure certainly does this wardrobe justice, it's a very very cool figure indeed. Um, like with Han Solo in his Bespin outfit that I gave you a look at in my last review, this is another Black Series figure that's been released numerous times over the past couple of years. We received it as part of the standard Black Series 6 inch line. We've had it as the 40th anniversary collection version and it was also released in another San Diego Comic Con exclusive multi-pack uh, which depicted the altercation between Leia and Han on Echo Base, the, the very heated conversation they have in the Echo Base corridor. From what I can tell, there are no differences between the three figures, um, so you know whichever one you decide to pick up, it's going to be the same, um, and it's really just the packaging um, that differentiates each release. Um, so if you want to add this one to your own collection, as always, there is a link down below in the video description where you can do so. At the time of filming this review, the 40th anniversary version of Leia is still in stock and available to buy. So again, highly recommend this one. It's a great addition to the collection. So before we jump into the figure itself, well, let's take a look at the packaging that she comes in. And as you can see, we do once again get that really nice vintage card design. You've got Leia trapped in her plastic prison on the front of the card looking very very cool nice showcase of all the different accessories she comes with got a very nice image of Leia on the card itself with the Kenner logo down at the bottom the Empire Strikes Back logo at the top and in the top corner there you'll see the foil sticker for the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back on the reverse side you've got some more figures available in this line all of which I've added to the collection thanks to the very kind folks at Hasbro who provided these as part of their May the 4th uh, promo box package but uh, a lot of these I've decided to keep on the card so this is going to wrap things up for now for my uh, 40th anniversary reviews but very very cool packaging indeed love those vintage cards this one is definitely no exception. So with the packaging aside, let's take a look at the figure itself. And here she is. Once again, an absolutely stellar figure. I love everything about this one. The accessories are a real highlight, but the sculpt, articulation, and pretty much every aspect of this figure is just really, really well done. And I think Hasbro should be applauded for some of their recent Black Series efforts. They are really doing a fantastic job with this line. So we'll touch base on the accessories first, then we'll run through articulation and talk a little bit about the sculpt of the figure as well. So first up, we do get a Rebel Blaster Rifle with Princess Leia, as you can see. Just a standard rifle, but with some nice paint applications. You've got a silver painted barrel, some nice sculpted details on there as well. And she does hold that very nicely. No holster on this figure, of course, so there's nowhere to store it when she's not holding the rifle but uh, I'm sure we've all got a spare weapons box by now where we can throw this one in when it's not being displayed. She also comes with a couple of really cool accessories, the first of which being a fusion cutter or tool of some kind. Uh, these are, of course, the tools she uses when she's working on the Falcon before Han comes and sees what she's up to, and we get that rather heated exchange on the Falcon. Uh, very cool sculpt though, not a lot of paint applications going on on this one, it's just a, a solid black sculpted piece, but very very nicely detailed, and again she holds that really really well. And the third and final accessory that we get are a pair of goggles, which are again really really nicely sculpted, really nicely painted, and fit on the head of the figure really well indeed. And I love this look for Princess Leia, she's almost got this sort of Rosie the Riveter, we can do it sort of look. I just absolutely love it. I think it looks fantastic. It's really nice to see accessories that aren't blasters included with some of these figures. 
Now the goggles can be removed and you can display them on the head if you like. They hold in place really well. Or they can be removed altogether. And as you can see, you get a really nice look at the head sculpt underneath on this one when you remove those goggles. And again, like with Han Solo in his Bespin outfit, this is probably the best likeness of Princess Leia in the Black series so far. Really, really well done. The sculpt is fantastic. And obviously you've got that photo real face printing technology as well, which just does wonders for these figures. So really, really good likeness. Fantastic head sculpt. A neutral expression, but uh, very cool nonetheless. And of course you've got that really nicely sculpted hair going on as well, which looks fantastic. So really, really cool looking figure all around. Very, very impressed with this one. In terms of articulation, she's packed to the brim as always. We do get a ball joint at the head. We've hinges at the shoulders and at the elbows, a ball joint at the torso, ball hinges at the hips, swivels at the upper thighs, double joints in the knees, and a hinge and a rocker at the ankle. So again, great articulation, standard stuff that we've come to expect from the Black Series, but uh, always welcome. Now one thing to point out as well is that the body of this figure has been recycled for another Princess Leia figure and that is the Bespin layer that we've seen, or Bespin Escape layer. that I, I can't remember whether it was a Target or a Walmart exclusive, something like that. It's not a figure I managed to get my hands on unfortunately, um, but from the neck down it's essentially the same figure, just with a brand new head, um, with a head sculpt that's specific to the scenes on Cloud City. Very, very cool. And a really nicely sculpted figure. You've got some great detail going on in that costume. As you can see, you've got the wrist communicator there on the jacket sleeve. You've got the rank badge on the waistcoat, which is removable. And again, really, really nicely sculpted. So all in all, a fantastic figure. Again, definitely one of my favourite layer figures from the Black series. Really well done. And definitely recommended for the collection. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look at Princess Leia once again in her Hoth gear. Really, really great addition to the collection and a fantastic figure all round. So that's going to do it for this review and I'll be back with some more very soon. Got some more Black series 6 inch figures to give you a look at plus some weird and wonderful additions to the three and three quarter inch line plus tons more so make sure you stay tuned until then as always thank you for watching keep collecting and may the force be with you